We'll see how it turns out. General. I already know everything about what you did, JR. And how much your little kidnapping scam cost Adam? <clears throat> if you want me to leave, I'll go. No. No, no. This is Jenny's day, and I'm not going to ruin it. But if you want my opinion sometime, just stop by, and I'll give you a couple earfuls. Wear asbestos. Thanks. <laughs> Do push that one. Well, that is quite a kingdom that, that you're building there, huh? That one too. And who's here? <laughs> that one too. one too. How you doing? Fine. Yeah. Is that good? You see my muscles flex? Raw. Well, let me have it. You feel a lot better. You could have been killed. I'm fine. I just don't want little A growing up without a father. Look, the only person who lost out in this deal was my dad. Nobody else got hurt. Look what games did to us. And my mother and your father. You're running oh, lives. Ma, would you just look at those gorgeous papers? They are just exactly like my little baby Jenny's were. Oh, and you are going to grow up just as lovely as your namesake, yeah. aren't you, sweetheart? <laughs> she got the hiccup. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, that glow Jenny had was mm -hmm. bright as sunshine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, look at her. She's so fast, like we were family. And I said, I said to the preacher, I said, could you, could you christen my little girl? And he got everybody together, and we all sang, um, Oh, Father, bless the children. And uh, after the ceremony, we just shared their food and their stories. They were just the finest people. And, well, they weren't strangers anymore. Strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. That's <laughs> right, yeah. People can sure be wonderful, you yeah. know, if you just give them a chance. Huh? Well, the food is, is fancier, and we've got that fancy yacht club over there now instead of that little fishing shack, <laughs> but the feeling is the same. And that was my point, anyway. <laughs> Uh, everybody, uh, may I have your attention first, please? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, Tad wants to tell you why this day was chosen, a very special reason. You tell him, Pop. I will. Twist his arm. Today is an anniversary. You don't have to tell him which Many, many years ago. It wasn't ago. that <laughs> many <laughs> days. Uh, many years ago, on this very date, I officially became this young fellow's father. And I officially got to share him with Opal. <laughs> anyway. Well, he's such a handful that he needed two moms. <laughs> Don't help him. And he, he, he deserved to have a fine man who loved him and that he could look up to. Thank you. <laughs> so true. Uh, anyway, 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 uh, being Chad's father, well, sometimes exasperating. <laughs> You can skip over this part, too. Come yeah, on, yeah. speed it up, Bob. Listen, I've never been prouder of anything than of being your father. <laughs> and I hope that our lovely granddaughter, Jenny, will bring you as much happiness as you have brought to us. Oh, she will, Joe. She will. You She's are nothing but an old softy. <laughs> <laughs> Never old. <laughs> All you can depend on from Jay. Oh. Now, traditionally, this is where we should introduce Jenny's new godparents, but typically Tad and I haven't asked them yet, so I guess we're all going to find out if they accept. Yeah, there's no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time, just a little bit of understanding. James. Crystal and I would like you to be Jenny Scapa. Oh. I'd be honored. <laughs> Get up here. Thank Just you. sit there. <laughs> you said it all right. And as for uh, Jenny's godmother, this really was a, a no brainer. Colby? Colby? <laughs> Me? Yes. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Come on now, you you delivered the baby. I mean, I think you should be your godmother, don't you? 
I'm not even old enough. Well, no, there is no age limit. Don't worry about that. I don't even know what to do. Colby, you're doing it. Oh, come on, darling. You love her. <laughs> you just, you just teach her, you advise her, you give her a shoulder to cry on, a little soft place to fall. Honey, if it weren't for you, we might not be having this celebration. Yes. 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 I'll be your friend. Oh. There you go, hero. Oh, okay. thank you. She's happy about that. I know. She's sticking herself in the eye. She's like, oh God, what, oh, I gonna... what am I gonna do? I am not. Some of you, me. take note, <laughs> are too young to remember your aunt, and I consider that to be one of the disadvantages of your youth. His dad nailed it. Jenny was like the son. No matter how complicated things were, no matter how bad things got, she... She was always shining. In fact, I don't even think she had a dark side. That was more my territory. And I staked it out pretty well. Jenny, on the other hand, she, uh... I guess she just had faith in humanity. She always believed in the the best in people, even me. <laughs> yeah, no matter how bad I got, no matter how much I screwed up, she always believed that I would grow up to be the man she expected me to be. It was amazing. She was smart, she was kind, she was funny. The fact is she, she was probably everything that a parent could, could dream of in a child. Nonetheless, Crystal and I want our Jenny to know when she grows up, she doesn't have to try to be anybody else. She doesn't have to live up to anyone else's example. She's always going to be her own person. We just want her to know that uh, her aunt, her namesake, is also her guardian angel. And she's a good one. I should know. She's always been mine. This little critter's got a whole handful of guardian angels. But with Aunt Jenny, her great-grandma Kate, and Dixie. Yeah, I think with, uh, with backup like that up there in the stars and all of you down here, you are gonna do just fine. Receive this child into the congregation of Christ's flock. I baptize you in the name of the Father. So that's a pretty big surprise, huh? Uh, yeah, I honestly thought Babe would be your godmother. <laughs> Did you me? So how's Amanda? Amanda? Yeah, Amanda. I thought you'd bring her with you today. You're Good kidding, job. right? Get him, keep marrying him. I don't like this situation. <laughs> Get that one. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're probably gonna laugh at me and think I'm the most clueless godmother Are ever. Are you kidding me? She is gonna just hang on your every word and think you are a goddess. Everybody, everybody. To family. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you.